What's going on guys? This is Lior and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I'm excited to share with you guys a project update on one of the biggest projects that we purchased. It's been about 18 months since we bought this. It was one of the more complicated transactions we've done, one of the more complicated ones to execute as well. But I'm gonna give you the scoop on how we bought this nine unit portfolio, including two existing buildings and one a new construction site, as you can see behind me. And I'll give you guys the overview of how we found this deal, how we finance both from a bank perspective and an equity perspective. And then I'll give you guys the scoop on execution, what happened and where we are so far along with the construction. So in terms of actually finding the deal, this was actually also a fun story. We first got this deal off market from a broker that I knew and we knew it was overpriced when they gave us the price. So we kind of put in a low bid, went back and forth for like a month or two, nothing really ended up happening. And then the deal actually went on the MLS and they again overpriced the deal and it sat there for another three months and this is where i say patience and persistence really trumps all because we essentially kept at them we kept telling them hey we'll still give you the number that we gave you off market this is the right number for the project and after literally probably four or five months of kind of going back and forth we were finally able to put the deal together now in terms of financing so let's first talk about the bank component so on this project, we actually used financing from a local commercial lender, right? From a local community bank. So what basically, this was a little bit more complicated because there was two aspects to this deal. As you can see behind me, there's two existing buildings. This is one of them right here. And there's another one right on the other corner. This also came with an approved site that the seller had permitted to build three residential units, right? So again, it was basically two three unit buildings existing, so six existing units, and then a site that had an approved permits from the city to build three additional units. So the way we had to structure with the bank was make it two separate loans, right? So we had one acquisition loan for the six units, which were in pretty good condition, pretty turnkey for the most part. We were able to stick tenants in there from day one, so we didn't really need a construction loan. And then the second loan was for the acquisition of the land plus the construction budget, right? Because obviously we're gonna be building on this. We needed a pretty thick construction budget. We ended up getting $550,000. So we had to structure it as two separate loans in order to get the deal done from an execution perspective. Now, from an equity perspective, if you guys see my other videos, you know how I like to typically structure my deals. Uh, we usually get what I call capital partners to come in and help us finance the deal, right? So in this particular example, we needed the cost for the down payment for both loans, right? We need a down payment for the loan for the existing two, three unit buildings. Plus we needed the down payment for the land Plus we had a ton of soft costs, right? So especially with the land, again, we bought this 18 months ago. There was still a lot of stuff that even though it was approved by the city, there was still a lot that needed to be done before we could actually stick a shovel in the ground, right? We had to get a lot of engineering work done. We had to get mechanical plans done. As you can see, we have like sidewalks that have been covered off. Those are all additional costs that we incurred, right? even though the project was approved before we could actually pull the construction permit and stick a shovel in the ground. In terms of actual execution, let me show you guys the construction side. As I said, there was quite a bit of steps that needed to be done before we could actually pull a shovel in the ground. You can see again, this is all, all this blockage right here. This was all additional permits we had to get. But after going literally back and forth for almost a year, we were finally able to get everything in place, all of our permits, all of the right construction documents in place and pull the permit. Now you can see here, this is the actual site of the work. And it's kind of a tricky site, right? Because we've got two brownstones literally on both sides of the building. And then we're literally building a fully attached building, right? It's gonna be attached on this end and it's gonna be attached on this end, which is obviously is nice because it's, I love row houses, but from a construction perspective, if you ask my partner who's actually GCing this project, it becomes very, very difficult in terms of actually managing crews, getting materials on site, right? Because you can only really get materials from one place. We don't really have access from the back. So it becomes logistically tough, but regardless, as you can see, we actually got quite a bit of this done. Foundation has been poured at this point. We've actually just started to start framing the building. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna frame this out, frame it all the way to the top. And this is gonna become again, another row house of three units. So total is gonna be three, six, nine units. 
So as you can see, it's a little bit more of a unique project, right? Existing buildings plus a construction site right in the middle. But once this is built out, we're hoping probably the next five months or so, and we get this whole thing stabilized, What's going to be cool is we'll be able to actually do a portfolio loan, one blanket loan for all three buildings and do a cash out refinance, right? Because if you remember, I said that we had uh, capital partners come in, contribute the money for the down payment plus other costs while we were permitting and starting to build this thing. So we've got a little bit of a balance owed to capital partners, but once we get one big blanket loan, we'll be able to do a large cash out and actually get them their money back and I've run the numbers on this, we'll actually be generating really nice cash flow after all is said and done. So that's what makes this project really unique. It's a nice existing portfolio, plus there's a lot of upside because of the construction aspect, we're creating a lot of value. So we're able to do a nice cash out, return capital, and then sit in an amazing nine units right in Boston that are gonna be well cash flowing for our portfolio. So hopefully that makes sense guys about this project. I'll keep you posted as this beauty comes up over the next four or five months. But if you guys have any questions, make sure you shoot them below.